Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn from Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and I want to share a brand new stamp set that we have out and available. It is our brand new Chihuahua stamp set. I love being able to bring the AKC dogs to you guys, and this little set has been one in the works for almost a year. Um, I love being able to bring these to you, and the Chihuahuas have been one of my top requested breeds alongside poodles and German Shepherds and Huskies. So there are new Husky stamps in our store as well, but these are the adorable Chihuahuas. Now today I thought I would start, because in my last video, if you saw the last one, um, I had got some templates for my oxide inks from Amy, and they came from a Colorful Life Designs. And in the gift certificate she sent me, I ended up ordering these bricks. So if you can see them off on the left-hand side there. I saw a card she made where it looked like this beautiful brick background. Absolutely gorgeous, I just have to tell you. So I decided I wanted to try the brick as well. So I went and got a full sheet of paper and the colors that I use, I'm gonna try and show the caps to you so that you can see them as we go through. And as a lefty, sometimes it's difficult for me to show off some of this just because where my hand sits. But let me show you the lid on this one. So this is the aged mahogany. So we're gonna start that and that's gonna be the main color of our brick. Um, when I was growing up, we had a house that I lived in where it had this faux painted brick. And I honestly think they just had a big, huge version of what I'm doing right now. And I think they did that on the wall. And it was so cool. So I was like, I want to recreate it. Then I realized about two seconds in, yeah, a little bit of tape is going to help because I need to hold that stencil in place. Because when you use the oxide inks, you're supposed to go in a nice circular pattern to get a nice even coat. And the little tape helps so much. See, look, I can go right through now. Now, what I really liked was that the um, oxide ink was sitting kind of heavy on the top and the bottom of the brick. So the middle of the brick already kind of had its own highlight, if that makes any sense. Like it was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. And I, I'm in love with this. So I will be heading out to the website tonight. Um, I, I, I need to get a couple more of these. And I'm gonna find out, cause I remember seeing on the website that she also made custom ones. So I might try and see if she can make me a Jessica Lynn Original Studios one that I might be able to use because I have a couple ideas. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. And when I was done, I thought, you know what, it needs something else. And so I end up actually using two more colors. Um, one's a little more on the orangey side. It's that rusty hinge you see up on the top. And the last one is a dark suit black, like black. It's so cool. But I barely touched the black. I kind of did it at the bottom to make the brick look dirty at the bottom, if that makes sense. So wait until you see this. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like I'm, I'm floored. I, I, I want to do more. I mean, really all I can say is just wait for this reveal. Watch this. As I peeled this little template off, what? I mean, that looks so good. I am just, I'm floored. I'm floored. It looks so beautiful. And now I want to try and do like white brick and I want to do some gray, you know what I mean? Like I have all these ideas now with different brick tones that I want to try. But look at that. 
I mean, like I said, it has the it has shadows and highlights already built in. There's the little orange that I put the the black, which sort of just dulls down some of the. Br I. Long story short, I am floored. So I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of our Chihuahua stamps from our brand new stamp set. It is a Chihuahua set. Uh, it is available at JessicaLynnOriginal.com. So be sure to head over there. Um, I will put up a little QR code right up in the upper right hand corner so maybe pause this video scan it with your phone and you can go take a look at this stamp set right away.
I think that this card could be absolutely perfect for Mother's Day. I think this could be good for your mom's birthday. Um, it could be great for, you know, any female role model who stepped in to take care of you or help you do something big in your life. Um, I really love these little guys. I think they're so cute. Um, like I said, one of my number one requested dogs and I, I wanted to really show, you know, kind of a family unit. And I have a couple ideas on some ideas on how to make some other cards. So I do have more cards coming from this stamp set that I can't wait to share with you. But um, this dog, I mean, obviously there's a bunch of different colors that you can pick. And I went for just the sand color. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna put this card together. And all I do is I have my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and use the full brick. And one of the things that I didn't realize I did was I left about mm, a fourth of an inch maybe across the bottom that's white, which you'll see it in a minute. It was totally accidental, but I'm so glad I did it because it looks so cute and it gives the dog kind of a place to stand. So you'll see that in a minute. So let's go ahead and then I'm just going to cut it out and again I'm using a long scissor. This one has a blade of quite a few inches so I can typically do like two long cuts so that I don't get jagged edges. I mean you could also use you know like your little guillotine. You could use your little slider uh, cutter. So I just want to show you this. Watch how cute this looks. Oh my goodness it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. And the best part is, let me show you this. I think I'm going to show it to you. Yeah. So there was a little bit left over. And so I'm going to keep it because maybe I'll do like a little brick, you know, pillar or something on another card. So I love it. It's so pretty. I, I just, I can't get over how many tones or colors show up in there. It's just too pretty. <clears throat> so don't forget when you make cards, be sure to go and sign the back of your card. Very, very important. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out the dogs. And again, I'm not using the Brothers Scan and Cut today. I'm going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. I'm just going to fussy cut it out. Totally fine. Um, and then I'm going to put it on foam risers. And then I'm going to put on the sentiment. So let's go ahead and do all of that. And let's take a look at this card when it's all done. I'm so excited.
I am so happy I decided to cut this on the diagonal. I just think the sentiment that way really kind of just makes something special on this card. And I love the sentiment. You know, everything I am, you helped me be. I love it. You know what I mean? And this dog, what I love is that it doesn't have to be a mom. It could be a dad, brother, cousin. It could be best friend. It doesn't matter. I think making cards and sharing, you know, your art and your passion really is something special and look at how cute their little faces are i just have to say thank you so much for watching our video again my name is jessica lynn i'm the owner and artist for jessicalynnoriginal.com don't forget to go ahead and take a look at our website be sure to subscribe so that you see more of our fun content we do trips and vacations that inspire cards and art and all kinds of crafts all the way along as well. So thank you so much. Again, I'd love to hear from you down below and be sure to like our video. Take care.